Hello guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Adora and if you're joining me for the first time, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, so, it's very, very unfortunate when couples have their misunderstandings and they try to drag their kids into it like it's, it's a no-no. Like, keep your children out of whatever messy fights you have. Now, there's a story which I have just heard right here in the UK and it's very, very nauseating. Um, it's a story about a man who has just deported his wife back home to Nigeria and when I mean deported like I mean deported his wife um, some years back I think about three years back he came into the country with a work visa and he was um, you know as with the work visa you are allowed to bring in your dependent so he came in with his wife and his kids so his idea of coming in, in here was to work but because he said he loves his children so much and he wanted a, a very good future for them, he decided to bring them along with him to the United Kingdom. So now they have come into the UK and as usual, it's very, very common to see couples struggle, you know, struggle with certain things that they were not used to back home in a new situation, in a new environment. And this whole struggle could vary from things like finances who's gonna plan the finances now or who's gonna take care of the children now you know who's gonna stay at home who's gonna work while and who's gonna look after the kids and all that they are very very it, it, some could be very minor issues but if it's not well taken care of it could um, spiral out of control now this is a couple who lived very comfortably back home in Nigeria um, the man had his own business going for him he was a boss of his own thing while the woman on the other hand had her own business and this is someone who had the maid who has the cook who has you know she has all of these people at her beck and call and then she is trying she's now coming over here and struggling to do things on her own without help without any assistance so that was her own main point of struggle that she was doing a lot of house things and organization you know doing the home things without any help and you will be very surprised to know how stressful it can be when you take things like that for granted, like when you take people for granted, now you now begin to appreciate all these your house helps you have back home, the amount of jobs that we're doing for you and co. When you are doing this all by yourself here abroad, well, then the man on his own he was struggling with and um, fitting into a new kind of job, into a job where you are no longer the boss, judging from what he had back home. Fitting into a job where you have to wake up in the morning. It does not matter how far you live and get to your, your workplace on time. You have to answer. You have to answer to your bosses, irrespective of whether you are older than them or they are older than you. So these, all of these things had effects in, in them. And the man will come back home with his own anger. And the woman will come back home with her own anger. And they will face each other. And the whole house will just turn into a... A bomb blast site and they were always having issues they were always quarreling they were always having misunderstandings and all that so this thing carried for a long time honestly it took it's it's carried for a very long time the whole quarreling the whole misunderstandings and all that and then recently this man said to the wife you know I we have a family gathering a family events back home and we, we need to go back home it's something we do yearly and then um, I've promised family back home that we will be there irrespective of what's happening. And the woman packed up her things, packed the kids and off they went to Nigeria. And on getting to Nigeria, they actually went for this family event. They had it all. Everybody were happy. Done and dusted. The man came and asked the woman to give him the keys to her briefcase, which she did. And then this man went, picked up the keys, opened her briefcase and took her travel documents with that of the children and off he went no one knew where he went to but he just left the house and when it came night time the woman kept calling his phone like where are you where are you where are you people are still coming home no we still have guests coming to to see us and all that and the man was like i'll talk to you later i'll talk to you later so at about past 12 in the night, the man called and said, you know what, there's something I've been willing to tell you. I didn't know how I was going to say this, but I think it's time I just said it. You know, we have struggled a lot in the UK. We have quarreled too much. We every time fighting, every time keeping malice. And another thing is that you're disrespecting me. 
you're you know you're not playing your role as a submissive wife you're not doing that uh, loyal thing you used to do back home and all that so i'm tired of it there can be no two captains in a ship one person has to bow for the other person one person has to be submissive and in our culture i of course it is the woman that should be submissive so since um the white man's culture is um, having a toll on our relationship, on our marriage, on our family. It's better we just go back home and um, do things the way we are used to, the way we do them back home. And uh, that's the more reason why we actually came here. So for that reason, I would like you and the kids to stay back home while I go back to UK. And I will be coming to see you guys. And you guys can be coming to, to visit too. But for now, this is how I want it. And Duma was shocked. And Duma was like, what? What are you talking about? The man said, what I'm talking about is that for peace to reign in the home, I would like you guys to stay back home. And he dropped the phone. So now this woman reached out to people, friends, families, everybody were now bombarding this man with calls. And the man's phone was switched out all through. Now at the point when his phone was switched out, switched off, this man was already on air. He had already boarded and he was returning back to the UK. So the next morning he replied his wife saying, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't face you to say that. That was why I had to call. But it's for the good of the family. It's for the betterment of the children. We don't want them to, you know, be raised up in a relationship where there are issues and all that. So, that's now kind of shook me a little bit. I was like, so where does the issue of the children having a better future come in? When you promise the children a better future, a safe future, a secure environment, a this, a that, you promise them heaven on earth before you guys relocated, where has all those promises gone to? Like now, it, because you had a misunderstanding with your wife, the children should now suffer for it. Like you had to deport the whole family just because of your relationship with the wife. Just because you couldn't, you guys are struggling to cope, to adjust you see, these things happen on a daily basis. I'm talking about couples or people trying to adjust to the new system. But I think it's worse with couples because if you're trying to adjust as a single person, it's manageable. And then when the, it's more manageable than when the next person to you is also trying to adjust. I like there's this friction always between the two of you because this one is trying to bring in his or her own ideas on this is how it should be this is how they do it here and this one is also trying to say no but this is how they do it here and two of you are trying to you know kind of counter each other at the at every given time that's where the problem comes so it's usually very very important to exercise patience as couples and also very very important to talk to each other you just come into the country as new people you don't know it you, don't, you know, so it's best you sit down as adults and figure out how things should actually be rather than arguing it out or fighting it out. There are, there are different ways you can sort out yourselves. But so this man actually took the kids back home to the same place he said he was trying to protect them from. He was trying to get them away from so that they could have a better future, a better life. And honestly, it's a bit confusing because at the end of the day, who is suffering it now is the children. The children are the ones suffering it because of the issues both parents have. So that's why I just wonder sometimes why couples usually stretch themselves so hard to punish each other, but they don't know they're punishing the children. Like there's another story now that I heard. This one is this one is we've heard things like this very often here in the UK. This is about a story about a, a husband and a wife that had a misunderstanding. Now, um, it got so serious that the police had to even get involved because um, a bit of domestic violence was was attached to their story. And then um, the police got involved and they actually warned the man to stay away from the woman, you know, like stay away from many, many kilometers or whatever from the woman. Don't stalk her, don't come close to her, just stay away from her. And the man really, really felt, he felt, he felt pained. So he, he, he swore that he was going to get back at the woman. And what did he do? He tried severally to try and implicate the woman. Like he wanted to get the woman in trouble with the social services. He wanted to cook up different allegations and make it look as if the woman is a bad mother. She's not doing well with the children. So he wants the children to be taken away from the mother. And this really got me like, 
why would somebody be so mean just because you have a problem with your partner you want the children to suffer it you want the children to be taken to a strange home you want the children to be taken to the an institution you want the children to be taken to a foster care just because it's not like you're not having issues with the children you're having issues with your wife or your husband you deal with it deal let deal with you guys should deal with your problems yourselves and leave the children out of it but for you to go that far to think because you want to get back at your wife or get back at your husband as the case may be you now put the children as your as your scapegoats that's really really unfair it's very very unfair so these are some of the stories we hear from time to time and then it, people think it's normal i hear when i get at the children like that yeah when i do this to the children the woman will suffer it or she will cry or she will lose out or the man will do this or do it. you know things like that let's be very very mindful of what you do be very very careful of what you do especially here because we understand very well that they don't joke with children here they don't joke with kids here whatever it is you're doing to yourself leave your children out of it thank you very much for watching my video and i do hope to see you next time bye